Hey Pixels, in this two-part tutorial, I'll show you how to easily design and code these clean and minimal article card components. In this tutorial, we'll design the article card components using the latest tools in Adobe XD. Before we get into this tutorial, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you'll be first to know when a new video drops. Hope you did it! Now, let's jump right into this tutorial. First, we'll open a custom sized artboard in Adobe XD that's 1440 by 800 pixels. Next, we'll turn on the layout grid and create a 12 column grid with a 32 pixel gutter. This grid will help us align objects on the artboard. With the artboard selected, we'll apply this light blue background color. Now that we have our artboard and grid set up, we can start designing our article card component. First, I'm going to draw two rectangles and stack them vertically. The top rectangle will be 265 by 220 pixels and the bottom rectangle will be 265 by 292 pixels. As you can see, the width of the rectangle takes up three columns in our 12 column grid. I want the card to have rounded corners, so I'm going to round the top corners of the top rectangle and round the bottom corners of the bottom rectangle 20 pixels. The top rectangle will contain a featured image related to the article, so I'm just going to give it a light gray fill and remove the border. The bottom rectangle will have the article content, which includes a category name, title, and excerpt. So I'll keep the fill white and remove the shape's border. Now that we have the basic design of the card, we can add some content. First, I'm going to add a category name, title, and excerpt to the card. I already have the character styles that I'll be using, so I'll just apply the styles to the text. I'm also going to group the text and turn on the stack feature in XD. If I hold down shift, I can ensure that there is an even padding of 16 pixels between each bit of text. I can also group the text and the white rectangle, enable padding, to ensure that there is 32 pixels all around the content section in the card. Before we add images to the card, I want to first turn the card into a component. To do this in Adobe XD, I'll simply select the entire card and press Command or Control K on my keyboard. I'll name the component Article Card. Since the Article Card is now a component, I can add states to this component, like a hover state. I want a subtle drop shadow to appear on the card when a mouse hovers over it. With the main component selected, in the component panel, I'll click the plus icon and select hover state. In the component's hover state, I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle with the exact style and shape of the entire article card. I'm going to add a shadow to the rectangle using the dark blue color at 20% opacity. I'll leave X at 0, Y at 4, and Blur at 20. Now, I'll send the shape to the back of the component and change the component state back to default.
Now the card design is complete. I can always grab this component from the components section in the assets panel and reuse it throughout the website design as needed. All we need to do now is duplicate the card component so that there's a total of four cards in a row. I'll also update the titles and images for each component as well as for each component state. The card layout looks great. If I hit desktop preview, we can see the article card hover effects in action. Stay tuned for part two of this tutorial where I show you how to turn our design prototype into code that can be used on an actual website. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you learned something new and hit that subscribe button for more great videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.